Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. Today we're spending our last few days in Galveston by going over to Moody Gardens. We're gonna go to the Moody Gardens Rainforest Pyramid and the Moody Gardens Aquarium Pyramid. Now there's a third pyramid, but I think that's more for kids and I don't want to seem creepy being in there. Now the whole Moody area is an aquarium, a rainforest, a children's museum, a water park, a regular park, a hotel. So it's like a whole complex, but I'm only going to the two main complexes, which is the aquarium and the rainforest. Unfortunately, when I was there, the penguin exhibit was closed, but there's still plenty to see. There's plenty of aquariums and tanks of all different shapes and sizes, plenty of specimens that your kids can look at, even if they're kind of gross looking like that worm. It's gross. But like I said, there's plenty of live coral, plenty of fish. Some of them are your basic aquarium fishes, but it's still nice looking at all the different types of fish that exist out in the sea. I myself like looking for the weirdest one, and there's one right there. It's a weird fish. Weird fish are cool. Of course, there's always sharks, but not the dangerous kind. I wouldn't want them to keep dangerous to the kind of sharks like great whites. That'd just be mean. But there's different viewing areas. You can watch from above, you can watch from below, you can watch from ground level, and there's your clownfish. Every aquarium now needs to have a clownfish because of that movie. But probably my favorite parts of aquariums are the jellyfish collections because I like zoning out to the different light shows that they have. You just stare for hours and marvel at the delicate intricacy of it all. And they do a pretty good job of showcasing them. My favorite jellyfish though were these, I'm not sure what they're called anymore, but they look nice and dangerous, and it reminds me of when I was stung by jellyfish back when I was 16. My other favorite animal of the sea is the seal. I love watching them swim, they look like little torpedoes. That's my cat in the background. Kitty, you already have food. <coughs> But I marvel at how they swim, they just, I mean, just one small little push of their flippers and they can go for several meters. Of course, every self-respecting aquarium needs to have its little aquarium tunnel. I like this one, it lets you see animals from above, mostly stingrays and some other fish, but it's fun. Like I said, every aquarium nowadays needs to have one, or else why even call yourself an aquarium, right? Well, it's a pretty big aquarium. It's got several huge tanks. Some of these tanks are filled with fish. And there's my favorite tank, which was filled with sharks, and they just sort of swim around looking menacingly, daring you to jump in there and punch them in the face. <coughs> Anyways, this was your trip through Hawaii. Penguins! I found penguins. I forgot to tell you. They were in a small exhibit. I guess people keep wanting penguins, so they grabbed a few of them while they're being renovated. And you can watch them swim against the window, like this penguin. Isn't it cute? Super cute. And then I went over to the Moody Rainforest Pyramid. So it teaches you a lot about the rainforest and how it's ecologically and biologically important into our life. There's some river otters. And they also just like swimming around. And that's their enclosure, which I think is pretty big for two otters. And I'm not sure they do a lot of climbing. So I'm not sure why there's a big old 
thing right there. But the rainforest pyramid is several, several floors of being able to walk through the different levels of a rainforest. You can walk through the canopy, you can walk through the bottom. You have some birds that just randomly fly around that are not caged in quotes. So they can actually fly around and poop on you if they wish. And you can see what the rainforest looks like from the top. And you can see all the way to the bottom. They have it filled with tropical plants. Those are real, those aren't wax. It's all enclosed inside this cool, nifty looking pyramid. It's, see, that's nice and cool actually. I thought it was going to be warm. But no, the temperature's pretty cool in there. It was refreshing just walking around, pretending you're out in the forest. There's a discovery pyramid, which I think is more for kids. <coughs> There's also some places where you can see creepy creatures of the jungle. There's some weird animal eating. You move very slowly. Other animals that you might see are typical river fish. They've got little creeks and ponds filled with fish. They've got a cool looking Komodo dragon if you've ever wanted to see one. They're a lot smaller than I envisioned. They got a lizard with a red face. He's embarrassed about something, I'm sure. More fish. And you can just walk around the bottom of the rainforest, see other animals that are just roaming around, uncaged, and be able to interact with things. I found a nice little nook to take a look at everything. They've got pirates that fly around. It's really noisy in there, by the way, because of course all the animals are making their own private noise. And there's a monkey that they have just running around, which I think is kind of cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed looking through these two pyramids. It's a nice aquarium and a nice little rainforest setup. So. Make sure you go. Bye-bye.